What is up guys, Matthew here and welcome back to another episode of our FIFA 21 Middlesbrough career mode here and um, yeah, I just want to start by saying a huge thank you to everybody who uh, joined me in the stream I did the other night and just for the support in general that this series has been getting the momentum and the views um, and the following and, and everything and the support behind this series right now is just amazing um, and it's basically motivating me to just pump out these videos as often as I can and if, if it's put the other series on the back foot to be fair um, we, I am hoping to get back on the my player career mode um, as well as our snooker 19 career mode but with the minimal time I have spare I am just wanting to keep pumping out career mode videos for our Middlesbrough career mode as it is the best series on the channel um, at the moment the one that's been viewed the most and seems to be enjoyed the most by you guys so I can't thank you enough. Um, but not only is the support on this series uh, amazing, but the series itself, um, as in us as a team, are doing amazing at the moment. And we are down to fourth in the Premier League. I say down to fourth. We're still in fourth. Um, but that's just because Spurs and Leicester have played their game this weekend and have jumped us. We can jump them once again if we can win the game in hand we have. Or, well, you could call it a game in hand. I think we might just be playing on the Sunday um, away at Fulham. In fact, no, it's a Wednesday, so it must be the Tuesday-Wednesday fixtures. Um, but, yeah, we've had a cracking season so far. Um, we've only lost two games. I think it was Man United and Aston Villa. Um, and we're on a five-game win streak, I believe, in all competitions. Um, and we're absolutely bossing it in the Premier League. We've had back-to-back 1-0 -back wins, which are more satisfying than you think, getting two clean sheets. We beat Brighton 3-1 before that. Then we nicked a win at Liverpool. Um, yeah, we, we've not lost in two months, pretty much. Um, so we're on fire at the moment, and um, we're just nicking games by the odd goal in the last couple of minutes. And it's proven to be really, really massive at the moment. And um, we're entering a period now which is typical Borough territory, um, and I'm hoping it, it doesn't become a typical Borough run of games where we're in a great position. We've got a, well, bar in the Spurs game, we've got a couple of games now against West Brom Wolves, who are bottom of the league, by the way, um, which we should win. And if we can win them, we will uh, be in an even stronger position as well as a Carabao Cup. Uh, might be a quarter final. That won't be in today's episode, though. We are going to... Will it be in today's episode? No, it won't. We've got Fulham, Tottenham and West Brom today. So the aim is to just keep this incredible league form going. So a couple of players struggling for fitness. Uh, not 100%, but we're going to play them anyway. And the only change in the back four is Mackinnon has come in for um, Jed Spence, obviously, since putting Tanganga up as a right back. Um, we've we've kept two clean sheets and we seem so much better defensively, so I thought I'd keep him in there, um, which is a shame on Jed Spence, really, but Tanganga is our right-back. Um, and then centre-back, you know, obviously we've moved him across. Um, normally, alongside Ben Gibson, we would have um, Dale Fry in there. He's not fit, so Mackinnon has come in to replace him um, with, obviously, Gibbon Coulson. Uh, again, Bellingham's not 100% fit, but we're going to keep him in there again, alongside Morsi, and the front four picks itself. There's the Borough fans packing out the away and having the season of their lives so far. As we could go second in the Premier League with a win here. Here's a man who's been on fire, Jude Bellingham. He's so good at driving in. Oh, Roberts with a beautiful dummy around the defender. And that is a goal of the highest quality. Bellingham bursting through the midfield. And the little dummy and shimmy by Roberts is just typical of why he is a guy valued so highly. Bellingham, I mean, look, brilliant from Roberts. Can he finish? Of course he can. Starting to really get a good idea of how our new signings are playing their strengths. And Bellingham is just so good at picking the ball up and... His acceleration off the spot is unbelievable. He's, it's easy to beat a man. And Roberts was just too clever. And puts us in the lead. Their offer was not what we were after. Oh, Rigi with a great ball. Here's Julian Draxler. What a tackle. What a tackle from the defence that was. Tracks are still going. He's got half a yard, but the shot is straight at the goalkeeper. 
thought we've started really well in this game. Someone has found the net at Anfield. Who exactly? Alan Mackin to come to the rescue. A good looking move. Here's Dickadova Reed. I'm just gonna call him Bobby. Here's Bobby. As the Fulham fans are trying to get their team going. Hardly been out of the half in this first half here. And though that they're in straight away here and they've equalised. First attack, first goal for Fulham. And it's Tom Kearney. Too easy. Plays it through and Tanganga couldn't get across to him and... Well, we've had two clean sheets in a row, defended really well, but that's a really poor goal to concede. And that's the first time Fulham have been in our box, or anywhere near it. Despite us dominating the game, it's one each. Well, we've been the better team in this game, but Fulham have took their one chance. And, in fairness, have defended pretty well. We've had the ball in some really decent positions, but the final ball has just been defended really well by them. Hudson Odoi is brought down there, and Tanganga wins a throw in. But uh, yeah, it's been an evenish game, but they have defended extremely well. Roberts trying to dance in and around the box. Hudson Odoi, Arigi finishes. It's the sort of goal we concede in and around the box. But we worked it into Origi, patient play. And uh, on his week of foot, we just picked out that corner. And it was a great finish. Yeah, it's not the prettiest goal you're ever going to see. But it's probably the only way we're going to get through this Fulham defence. Clinical from Origi again. Eleventh goal in the Premier League for Divock Origi. He has really been worth the money so far this season. Traxler whips this one in. Looks for Origi. Oh, it's headed down. And well, it well, I think it was. Yeah, it was headed off the line by a Fulham defender. Traxler whips it in again as Origi. Gets a head on it, but it was always a tough header from there. And he made it look really difficult. Very close to a third goal there, and the next goal in this game is crucial. Good ball over the top. Oh, Coulson's just nicked it off of his toe there, but it's come back in. Kearney then. Runs into the inform Ben Gibson, who is very much in form at the moment. Morsi with a good ball out to Hudson Odoi. Is that a quiet game today, Hudson Odoi? But plays in Tanganga. There's plenty of men at the back post. One of them's Draxler. We almost find back into Bellingham. Crucial block there, I think. Morsi's done well to win that. Second ball finds its way to Bellingham, who. Can't beat the defender and Fulham are somewhat hanging on again like they were in the first half. As we've overloaded the, the area, here is Bellingham and that's three. Nicked the ball high up the pitch. Turned them over and Bellingham's finishing gets better and better. That's where we want him. Late runs into the box. And it's a ferocious finish by Bellingham. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. And a decent delivery. Oh, good ball over the top if he can keep it in. He has kept it in. It's a tester for Spence, whose first contribution is a tough header in behind. Made a couple of changes with the Tottenham game in mind, but we might be made to to eat that. Might be made to rue the changes here if we end up conceding a couple of goals. 
Moving Tanganga into the centre of defence. Spence now on the right. And he's fired over the Lingard is on as well. And that's back in. And Tom Kearney gets a goal back from absolutely nowhere. Two attacks, two goals for Fulham. Well, Derek, that tells you all you and there's nothing we could have done Great about team, that. Bosnick, I think it well, was, who got the goal. Headed clear and it was just headed straight back in. And, and in the blink of an eye, the, the ball was back in the box. Giveaway. And he just took it in his stride and smashed it past Bertinelli. No chance of defending that. Well, I just said it. We've sort of gambled on making the changes, assuming we've won the game, took our best players off. You can't really say 15 nervy minutes coming up. It's 3-2. McNair is Draxler. Plays it out to Lingard. He manages to nod it back in, but not to a red shirt. He's done really well up against Coulson there with a bicycle kick and Fulham now hunting. For an equaliser, and wouldn't this be a comeback? They've only had two attacks in the entire game, and Mackinnon has just made an incredible tackle. Good flick on from Origi, and Hudson Odoi's not been in the game much here, but he could seal it. Callum Hudson Odoi makes it 4 2. And any hope of a Fulham comeback has just been destroyed. And boy, did we need that. Mackinnon started with him in an unbelievable tackle. And as soon as Origi nods it on to Hudson Adoy, you just think his pace is going to be too much. He's had a quiet game, but he's popped up with a huge goal. And any nervy end of the game is gone now with six minutes to go. We should now have this one. Pretty much in the can. So Fulham looking at chuck the ball forward one more time. There's plenty of stoppage time still. On the clock for something to happen. Five minutes. Good play on the edge of the area. And, oh, Morsi with it. Well, a, a tackle. I'm assuming he got the ball. As that uh, clearance is straight to Origi, who, as he always does, he manages to win the header. He just adds us that strength in the air that I don't think Ings has as much. And he can hold the ball up and get Hudson Adoy into play with them flick ons. It's got us a couple of goals this season. And I think it's saved us a nervy end of this game. Fulham come forward, but that is it. And it's another win for us. Another banana skin that we've got over. And we beat Fulham by four goals to two. Well, as you can see there, Fulham... I mean, it was 4-2, but they had two shots in the game. Two on target, two goals. Fair play to them for being clinical. But we didn't give them anything else, so the defence still deserves credit for that result. And it does put us back up to second in the table. City came overcome another huge test, beating their Manchester rivals. And the unbelievable march towards the title continues for Manchester City, who are just beating absolutely everybody except the Borough. Who we beat them, of course. Of course we do. I'm going to keep reminding you all of that. But that's our 10th win in 15 games. We're the only team other than City to win more than 10 games this season uh, into double figures. We're up there in terms of the top scorers. We have conceded a few more than a couple of the teams in the top half, but I still am pretty happy with the defence. Um, yeah, we are in dreamland here, and we just need to keep it going game by game. See where we end up. A couple of games ago, it was it was a little bit tighter. We were a couple of points off sixth, seventh, eighth. But there's a five point gap to to United now. I'm not saying we need to at any point take our foot off because we won't. But um, yeah, unbelievable result there. And the next game's going to be even bigger because we're going to the team who were just behind us, and that is Tottenham. If we can pull off a result at Tottenham. We could open up a gap on them as well. 
which would just be absolutely insane. We've pulled off some huge victories this season. Um, we went to Liverpool and won. We went to uh, we went. I think we went to Leicester and beat them as well. We've went to City and beat them. We've had some big results away from home at some of the big teams in and around us. So let's see if we can do it again away to the champions, of course, Tottenham, who only themselves lost one game in the whole of last season. In fact, they've lost more games in the first 15 of this season than they did in the whole of their title winning season last time out. So luckily, um, we made the decision to take off a couple of key players, obviously, with that last game being a Wednesday, this being a Saturday, so there's a really quick turnover between games. And Gibson was one of the people we chose to take off, and I'm glad because he's just about fit for this one. Um, Bellingham was another one we brought off. He's just fit. Um, Robert seems pretty good to go. So the best team we can put out, pretty much, um, Fry comes in for Tanganga, who had to stay on in the last game. He's nowhere near fully fit so he'll miss out completely which means Spence will come back in to the right back position other than that it's completely unchanged we are looking in good nick and uh, the wins just keep on getting bigger and bigger now we've got Tottenham who of course are the champions they've got an incredible team that looks like Jordan Henderson in goal in goal that looks like Jordan Henderson in central defense not in goal what am I on about um, so he's, he's taken up the position he's playing in real life for Liverpool, clearly. Um, and then they've got Rodri in, in, in midfield as well. So let's see what this title winning team are all about. Now Son. Reguilon. Reguilon plays it through to Son. Spence is straight back in the thick of it today. He's had a couple of games out from the right back position, but... First challenge up against Son is a good one there. He wins the ball. Jude Bellingham. Here's Bellingham. Here's Patrick Roberts. Roberts. Origi. We could be in straight away here. Origi with the shot. And the first chance falls to us. The top goal scorer in the Premier League currently is Divock Origi. Quickly crowded out by defenders there. But good play through the midfield. Draxler will whip this in. The with the Borough fans in behind him. Well, Comes straight back out to Draxler. Takes it back down. Whips it in again. Maurice the comes out. And Roberts with a bicycle kick with Loris off his line there. Well, you might expect Roberts to... Hit the target there, to be fair, but a couple of bodies in between him, but that was a half chance. performing well above expectations. Yeah, fantastic start. Great tackle from Dale Fry. Comes back to Rodri, though. Harry Kane. Lacelso. Kane. Oh, he's done Gibson. He can't let Kane shoot. And luckily, Bettinelli was equal to that one. Both of the informed strikers have had their first chances. Both number 10s. And the keepers have matched both of them. Tottenham showing their attacking threat. Surprised they're giving this to Harry Kane. You'd, surely you'd rather have him in the box. Maybe, you know, if it was a, an actual chance at goal, he'd give him the ball, but... I mean, Kane taking this free kick from a wide area. We'll take that every day of the week. Headed clear, but the threat's not over with yet. Rodri. Coulson gets a toe on it. Lo Celso. How many's he beaten? Before he runs into Hudson Adoy. Spence. Here is Roberts. Having to come out wide. The cross is on. Regulon is there with him. Hudson Odoi runs into Regulon, who's really making it tough for him. Spence. Still pushing for Bellingham gets a bit of a lucky ricochet. Bellingham with the strike. Well, the the Reese into go another save. save. Got a bit of luck there with Bellingham. Nicking the ball off of Zachariah, and then it was a decent strike, but easy for Larice. Love that keeping kit.
Draxler. And over comes the corner comes in, we'll looks for Dale Fry. We'll come back out to Draxler and I mean look at the room he's got here to possibly pick out the far corner and maybe a little bit too ambitious with that one but it was on target. Easy, easy save in the end. Well there really has been a lack of quality from the defence right through to the forwards. The stats don't lie Derek, I'm hoping for better soon. Well you could argue we've been the better team in this game so far but Tottenham... Oh, and Spence, that's not the best clearance. Bettinelli's going to have to come out. and Luckily, Bettinelli comes out and actually gets something on that and punches it quite well. Roberts does well to beat Rodri. And now Drax is in behind against Trippier. First time cross. hudson Adoy just cannot connect. If he'd have connected with that cross, could have been another chance. But we are certainly... On top here against Tottenham, but we cannot make the chances count. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Ken plays it to Son. Tottenham looking to get this second half going. Jed Spence, though, has come in and has marshaled Son unbelievably well so far in this game. Sam Morsey. Morsi waits to lay that off to Draxler, who does well up against Trippier. Cuts inside, waiting for someone to make the run ahead of him. Here is Roberts. Can he turn Rodri? Not quite. Plays it to Bellingham as we're trying to see if we can pass our way through this Tottenham back line. It does open up for Bellingham, and the shot was heading places. Good turn from Draxler, though. Good ball in. Warigi, what a save from Lloris. Tipped onto the bar. And Lloris keeps us out again. Patient play from us. We picked out the right ball at the right time. Great work from Draxler. And Origi could not get much closer than that. Tipped onto the bar. Here's Kane. Shrugs off Morsi. And there is a good tackle again. And maybe this counter-attacking position, it's the sort of position we love to be in. Here's Draxler. Cuts inside. Roberts facing Rodri again. Rodri gets a foot in. Here's Bellingham. He's proven to be a real thorn in the Tottenham side. On the edge of the box, but the shot is blocked there. And I'm really worried that all these chances are going to come back to bite us and that one, one Tottenham chance is going to be all they need and they're going to catch us with a sucker punch. Really hope we can make one of these count. hudson Adoy. Jed Spence on the overlap here. He's not got many men to aim for in the box. Roberts wasn't the one you'd want, but we've got a corner from it. Well, doing the job defensively that time. 15 minutes to go. Is there going to be a winner in this game? Bellingham plays it back to Colson, although it is nicked off him in the corner. Is there a counter-attack available here for Tottenham? Here's Bergwijn, who they've just brought on, who's... Well, you can clearly see what his intention is. To run the hell at Jed Spence. Here's Bergwijn again. Spence following him. Oh, step of the way. Here's Harry Kane, and there's Ben Gibson. What a tackle that is. From Gibbo. Ten minutes to left for play and the Bellingham is challenged, but it does fall to Draxler. And I mean that, well, if, you, if Harry Kane unleashes a shot there, it's a guaranteed goal. You've got to say it. But there's still plenty of time left in this game. Who's going to find a winner? Is it going to be Draxler? Is it going to be Jude Bellingham? He keeps finding room on the edge of the Tottenham area. He beats a man again. The shot is blocked. 
And Tottenham now with the potential counter-attack. The game is wide open. Our formation's absolutely all over the place. We need to get Gibble back in the middle of defence. Zakaria now. Gibble will follow him out. Ball over the top though. Zakaria and Coulson with a huge block. And Tottenham going to nick it here. Rodri. Shot is blocked. Zakaria wins it again. Here's Harry Kane. Bergvine with the cross. And carelessly, he's offside. That just relieves the pressure. And now both sides will make personnel switches. One last throw of the dice. We're going to put two strikers up top. We've left it a bit late. But um, we, were, we were just playing so well. And I thought something might drop for us. But a second striker is required in these final... So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Final stages. Morsi. Hudson Odoi is a Rigi on side. No, he isn't. Side. That might have been the chance. How close was he? Ah, oh, he had run offside. That's a Yeah, couple of seconds too late with a the pass there. Good idea. Unbelievably, I feel like we've come to Tottenham and I feel disappointed we haven't won the game. We've defended unbelievably well against them. We've had the chances. We've hit the bar. Larice has made more saves than Bettinelli. And we come away from Tottenham with a point, which on any other day would be an amazing point. But I think it says a lot about how far we've come that I've come away from this game disappointed that we've not beaten the champions. Limited Harry Kane to that one shot in the first half. It's a clean sheet, but it's two points dropped. Well, that says it all, doesn't it, about the game. Highlights were three saves between all three keepers. All the look of that. They, we limited them to only two shots. We had ten. Six on target. And unfortunately, we couldn't quite make them count. Like I say, that's that's a sign of just how far we've come with this team. That We've played really well. And, uh, well, yeah. Come away with nothing. Disappointing. So that point then keeps us... Ahead of Tottenham. And, uh, well, no one else has made ground on us at all, to be fair. Um, so we're still all right, mostly. Um, City, though, well, that's if we dare really look up, but they've won again. And uh, their lead now is 11 points. You might as well hand them the title now. Anyhow, we will now head to the final game of the episode, which is at home to West Brom. So back to full strength uh, in this game. Fry's back in alongside Gibbo Tanganga back on the right. The rest of the team stays exactly as it is as we host uh, West Bromwich Albion, who I think, uh, from memory of a team, we've actually struggled against um, in some games last season. I, I do recall them giving us a tough game on both occasions, if I'm right. They're currently in 14th position, so it's a game we'd expect us to win, but it's another one which we could slip up in, so we have to uh, give this one our best. Tanganga, we've spotted Origi in room on the edge of the area. It's being crowded out by West Brom players. And here's Zahor, who will be a very tough target man to mark for our defensive pair. Dale Fry might be the one tasked with trying to fight him in the air. I do remember their wingers really giving us a tough time last season. But they are going up against two fullbacks, especially Coulson, who are just... Continuing to develop into being some of the best in the league. Hudson Adoy tormenting Ivanovic. Or tormenting their left back. Ivanovic can't get to that. The cross is in! And there's Divock Origi with a strong header back across goal. 
and the top goal scorer gives us the lead. It was great play from Hudson Adoy. Standing up there, left back, playing a patient ball through and Tanganga. But he might have a better delivery than Jed Spence. I mean, what a ball that is. And Origi just tries to head it back across the keeper. All his weight will obviously be on his right foot. So just head it back across. Hopefully most times you'll score. It's a good start. Oh, good play this. Dale Fry stepping in and getting a good touch on that though. They come again. Gibble has to head that. But they've been a tough nut to crack. West Brom, apart from the goal, we've not been able to really get anywhere near them. Gibble though with another strong challenge. And Hudson Adoy here. Well, there's space for him to run in behind and you'd fancy him in a race against Ivanovic. Draxler's at the back post. Here is Julian Draxler. And what a save from the keeper. Point blank. Should score. Great save that. And oh, wow. What a ball that is. Coulson's just completely misjudged that. And Bellingham's now having to track back as Zaracho's charging forward. Gibbo does get the challenge in once. Doesn't get the ball. Has to concede a corner. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. So a chance here for West Brom. Corner's played short to Zaracho. Oh, it's wasted. Morsi, oh, but then again, Morsi's uh, give the ball up and the... Oh, it's a poor shot in the end there. Easy for Bettinelli. See if we can get things going early here, hudson Adoy. Using that pace, Roberts has now got lots of room to run into. Tanganga finds himself forward. Jaffet Tanganga with the shot. And, well, the referees give them a free kick. No idea what for, but that was a chance for Tanganga there. Bellingham. Bellingham. Driving through midfield as he does. Roberts. Drax has made a good run on the outside of him. Draxler. Bellingham. Looking for the far corner. Oh, Tangang has made a good run. Bellingham's found him as well. Chipped in. Origi. Another chance goes begging. And this was really well worked. And Origi puts it wide. We just cannot get this second goal. Losing possession. And also, Hawk keeps flicking the ball on, but to, to, he's winning all the headers, but he's flicking on to absolutely nobody. Origi. Origi holds it up well. Oh, and here's Hudson Adoy. He's in acres of space in the box. And Hudson Adoy makes it two. At the very end of the first half. And what a pick this was from Origi. What a run. Terrible defending. The Hudson Adoy was in behind. And didn't need his pace that time. He just needed to finish it. That's exactly what he did. We've needed the second goal. Just look at him. Because you just never know when West Brom could nick something at the other end. We've had the chances and finally on the brink of half time. We make it 2-0. Edwards causing Tanganga a couple of problems. Oh, he's beaten him again. What a run this has been. He's still going. What a run this has been from the... Well... Bettinelli was forced into a save there. That clearance is terrible. And Bellingham's done really well. But, I mean, that run was absolutely unbelievable. It never seemed like it was going to end. And then a route one ball over the top is all it's taken to put Origi in. And, well, that says it all about West Brom's defence. 
We were in trouble at one end and it was just route one over the top. And, well, their centre-backs have no pace whatsoever. Ivanovic is about 43. The other guy is about 6 foot 8. And you just never felt like it was in doubt with Origi in behind. The initial clearance was really poor, but Bellingham did well to pick up the ball, control it, and get us going. And Divock Origi is on fire at the moment. So the game continues. 3-0. And it's a matter of how now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, look who's coming on. I don't believe it. Borough fans, Carlos De Pena. Carlos flipping De Pena's come on for West Brom. Who'd have thought we'd ever see him at the Riverside again? I didn't mind De Pena when he played for us, to be fair. But my God, he's one of the most random signings we've ever made. And who'd thought? He'd be back at the Riverside. Carlos De Pena is on for West Brom. But in all seriousness, that's the least of our worries because Julian Draxler's took on the entire defence. And forced to save out of Sam Johnston. Should really make more of a tough save for him than that. A fine pass. Well, good ball forward if yeah, Phil and we'll keep it in. First time cross headed from Carlos De Pena. I've never seen him score a header in my life. And he's done it at the riverside. The return of Carlos De Pena. Unbelievable. He's back. And I think that's his first goal at the riverside. And he played for the borough. Crosses in and who'd have thought it? Rising like a salmon. Bettinelli, well, I don't know if he got a hand to it or not. But he might have tipped it onto the bar, but it squirmed through. And I, I do not believe it. He's back at the borough. And he's silenced the riverside. Holy moly, it's Carlos De Pena. His first Premier League goal. Well... There's a small part of me that's happy to see that. Incredible. What a leap. What a header. Well, it's 3-1. George Savile whips this one in. Almost find his way to Danny Ings. Gibble plays it out to Jacob Murphy. Savile, unlucky. Here is Carlos de Pena. Look at him, look at him go, Carlos de Pena. Here he goes again. As he suddenly became world class since leaving the borough because of, well, he's changed the game for West Brom. Suddenly we can't keep hold of the ball. Here's Morton. West Brom are hoping to maybe give us a shaky finish to this game. Savile has just been absolutely done by Zaracho. And Zaracho's buried it into the corner. Well, look at this for an ending. Zaracho with an unbelievable strike. I mean, Savile. Uh, uh, that's why I shouldn't play him. We brought him on and... Again, we might be undone by our substitutions because that's an absolutely incredible strike from Zaracho. I think he always scores when we play West Brom. And we went from 3-0 and cruising, looking like we're going to get a clean sheet, to now 3-2 up, clinging on. As West Brom, as they always do, they give us a tough game. And, well, all I can say is the introduction of Carlos de Pena has absolutely shook us up. Can we hang on? Here is de Pena. Savile gets a good foot in this time and Hudson Odoi's got room to run into and when we have this room with him we, do, we will just run it with Danny Ings though he's on the shoulder of the defender. Well that was a pass back. That was a pass back if I've ever seen one. 
I know you probably can't get pass backs on FIFA, but that definitely was one there as Ings' header was a pretty soft one and the he passed it back to the keeper. Luckily West Brom seem to have gave us the ball back at a crucial time. As we need to just look to hold on to it now. And a bit like the Fulham game, we've well, whereas Fulham actually didn't really do much to warrant a 3-2 defeat, West Brom have. Every pass hitting its target. Cross comes in. And well, there we go. The final whistle does go, and we end up clinging on to what is a a big three points in the end. We beat West Brom by three goals to two, despite an unbelievable return by the one and the only Carlos De Pena. So then, that finishes off another unbeaten round of fixtures for us in the Premier League. That's probably the club just telling us that we're not doing a good enough job like they always do. But, uh, yeah, we keep on doing it, guys. We keep on winning games by the odd goal. Um, and we've done that again with West Brom and Fulham. Odd goal. We did nick a fourth, actually, at the end of the Fulham game. But, um, yeah, doing enough with a good point as well at Tottenham. And for me, the aim is to just keep the unbeaten run going. The longer we can just keep on avoiding defeats, picking up points every game, the momentum will just keep on building and keep on ticking over. Um, and that's, well, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Take, obviously, if you want to include the Sunderland game in the Cup 13, but 12 Premier League games unbeaten now. And uh, it is that that has put us or kept us in second place. Eight points behind City. They have a game in hand. Not sure when they'll play that. We'll skip forward a day to the next game, which is Chelsea. Um, Bradley James is a great... Well, I, I didn't even know we were selling him. Um, but well, I, I didn't even know that was even happening. We've sold somebody, a keeper. Maybe it was a loan to buy from absolutely years ago. But... Um, Man City look absolutely imperious at the top of the Premier League. And uh, have they... Yeah, they've made it 16 wins out of 17 games. So the gap is now 11 points once again. Not that I'm targeting the title, but with the closest to City. Um, and we needed a miraculous... And a miraculous... Um, just, yeah, downfall from them to have any sort of chance. But two points over Tottenham, three points over Liverpool. Decent goal difference. Um, we're looking all right in the top two as long as we can just keep this unbelievable start to the season going and we could also bolster our chances of getting European football in the cup as well as next time out we have Chelsea away in the quarterfinals of the cup if we can get through that then uh, when you look at why the Wolves or Everton one of them's going to go one of United Liverpool's going to go and we fancy ourselves over Leeds and Newcastle so big hurdle for us to get over if we can in the next episode and in that episode, we'll play Chelsea twice, actually. So Chelsea in the Cup, Wolves in the league. They're having a terrible season. And then Chelsea again in the Premier League. But that is it for today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, guys, as always, smash the like button. Subscribe to this channel for much more. If you haven't already, hit the bell so you're notified whenever we go live on the channel with a live stream or a video. And do leave yourself a comment in the section below. But until next time, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.